What's up, Libra? This is Soul and Libra. We're going to look at some energy for you this upcoming week, starting November 2nd and ending November 8th, 2020. Uh, the messages will be for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. Libra, I hope all is well. Please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy this week's reading. Oh, and before I go, yes, this is the election week here in the United States. So if you are a Libra who is a resident of the United States, uh, I hope that you have exercised your voice to be heard, to participate in this uh, election and uh, play a part in this uh, democracy of ours. And um, yes, it should be interesting. I feel that it's going to be chaotic, but interesting nonetheless. With that being said, Libra, please sit back. Relax, and I hope that you enjoy this week's reading. Yes, bye. All right, Libra, you're up next here. We're going to look at some energy for you. Uh, Libra, sun, moon, and Libra rising signs. Uh, this is election week. So, um, you know, very important election in the United States. Get out there and vote if you're a resident of the United States or if you already voted. Thank you for playing a part in your democracy. Um, one, two, three, three cards popped out. I will use these cards for you, Libra, uh, in fairness. And the Major Arcana, the star card is showing up here for you. So again, I'm using the Everyday Enchantment uh, Tarot uh, to deliver your messages. So, and then also too, as I've been, you know, saying in the other videos that I have recorded thus far is that, you know, these messages are for you guys, right? So, but if I want to, you know, slide away from the, the, the general messages and throw in, uh, you know, some political stuff, I'm going to do it. You know, it's, it's my channel. I keep uh, trying to remind people, you know, I don't like to be told how to run my channel. So I don't need people, you know, commenting like, is this a Libra reading or is this a uh, political reading? Not that you guys did it because I'm still doing your reading. It just was someone who threw that comment in on Pisces. And I will do that. I mean, this is what I do. I'm not, you know, I always tell you, I don't force you guys to look at my messages. I don't, I, you know, I don't uh, ask you to, you know, like my messages or come to my channel. You come on your own. And uh, that's the way I like it, you know, because we all have free will. So if you don't like it, then, you know, go on <laughs> about your business and you know go to another channel or something like that you know this it, it won't bother me as much um because i do these okay that's too many cards i do this on my own time um you know and i'm trying to benefit and help people along their path uh and i don't have to do that but I, I, you know when people come after me in such a way where, and, and you know, they can do it in a nice way, but I know what the meaning is behind it. It, it still serves, uh, it still don't make no difference to me. I know what what the intent is. All right, so shadow card energy, as I always say, Libra starts us off. If it is a major arcana, positive or negative, it's definitely going to be the energy that plays out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you. And if it's a minor, it could be so-so. It could be energy that shows up or energy that does not show up at all, all right? And for you, we're going to start off with uh, shadow energy, uh, your own. Well, no, this is not your energy. This is the three of uh, coins, three of pentacles. So this is the uh, card of uh, collaboration, working together with others to get the job done because you're on the same page, you're in sync with each other. And you might be working on different things. There's actually four people here in this scenario. And what they're doing in this scene is looks like they're putting a Christmas uh, scenery together. OK, so that's the work and the progress and the effort that you are uh, doing. But it's, uh, you know, in collusion with other not collusion. I shouldn't say that word is in connection with other people. OK, each has their own thing to do, but you're all trying to achieve the uh, same goal okay there's this whole aspect of this is a card of partnerships this is a card of working extra hours this also could be a card where someone receives a small pay raise a small bonus uh three of pentacles for me always gives me the impression that someone could be working an extra job to earn extra income you could be recognized for the work that you are doing you know in three days uh and it could be a thank you that could be a job well done a pat on the back it could be a handshake Money could be involved or not. All right. But it's a very good card. Uh, and it may not be something that is, uh, you know, specifically involving, um, you know, work. It could be something that is outside of work. 
that you're working towards some sort of goal, but it's in connection with other people because you are in unison and um, you're synchronized and you're trying to achieve the same thing. Three of Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Then we have the um, Queen of Wands that is your focus for the week. And this is, okay, focus for the week is about um, things possibly heating up. This is a court card, so it could represent, um, you know, elders, your parents, your grandparents. Now, she's a conductor. It looks like there's photographers, there's fireworks, there's there's actually her, um, her band or her, you know, she's conducting the band here. So it could be a musical event. Um, usually when I get that type of... Um, image or scenery it, it relates to uh, it could be hidden talents musical it could be on uh, creative talents in general so it just doesn't necessarily have to be musical it could be you know singing writing dancing something creative something that you're in pursuit of but whatever it is that you are passionate about you're focused on that <coughs> okay and that's the most important thing in the past I have already mentioned that you know the uh, Female could also be those females who <laughs> are having hot flashes and whatnot. Just a little side thing um, that may or may not be the case. Okay, but this is like you know all about you being focused, sexual energy, sexual expression, having a good time, and being passionate about whatever it is that you're conducting or whatever it is that you are leading. All right, because this uh, queen would be a leader like the king would be. Queen of Wands represents fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now, because I got a sneak peek of the next card here, you may not like it, uh, Libra. And you guys always seem to get this damn card. And it's one of the cards that you know that I don't like. It just showed up here for uh, Virgo. Now, it's crossing your energies. It's crossing that court card. So this is pending divorces. This is separation. This is anxiety. This is grief. This is... Um, sadness the picture of the couple on the wall that could be the divorce or the um you know when the three of swords shows up here i do not denote you know i do not you know denote physical death no this is a separation of energy so it could be that you're still together as a couple but there's distance that separates you and that's probably why she's upset oftentimes though i do mention that we have to take ourselves out of the grief uh, remove ourselves away from the grief long enough to know that there is somebody here uh, to support us, to help us. And I'm, I'm liking the fact that the creator of this deck always, um, you know, there's animals in every card, no matter what. So there's a cat here looking out the window at this bird, but the back is to this animal. So she's not aware. She may not be aware that there is someone there to comfort her. Now, it could be, a you know, an actual fur baby, but it can also be an actual person. Um, for others, it could be that, you know, this is still a card of interference. It could represent the other man, other woman, when it comes to a love triangle. It could also mean interference when it comes to family relationships, whatever the situation that's uh, going on with you. Now, the interesting thing here is that because it crosses this court card, so there could be some uh, friction or some sort of separate Separation or disagreements going on here with it could be a true fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It could be a mother, father, grand, you know, mother. It could be just a you know a person in general. Um, that also could be the indicator of a, a you know a divorce. Okay, a re a relationship that could be um, pending uh, to split or break up, and maybe that's why she's uh, in tears. The heart. She's holding is the cushion, and then the pin cushions are in the heart. So she's really feeling this. Could be pet loss, not physical death, but pet gets away, runs away, and um, you know that could be what she's upset about because the cat is here in the window, but we don't know what's going to happen with the cat later on during the course of the day. So that could be that three of swords energy. But this three of swords represents you. Uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right. So the next card up here after that is the uh, Knight of uh, Swords, Knight of Blades. So this is more of your energy. Okay. More of your energy. This is the action card. Being decisive. Um, you're about to strike and do something. Now we have the hairstylist here. She's sitting there. She doesn't look too good about um, the way he's doing her hair, but that could be another thing for someone else. I could be just reading for somebody who is into, um, they could be a hairstylist 
male or female, and then they could be working in uh, like a salon or something like that. Uh, but you're taking uh, action, okay? You're going to make, you're striking, you're, you're about to do something. Now, it may have something to do with um, the Three of Swords energy. Three of Swords is in between the uh, Queen of Wands and the Knight of Blades. So maybe there's something that you're going to take action against in this relationship related, uh, Libra, okay? You're going to strike, you're going to do it. Um, Knight of Blades represents your energy, uh, Aquarius and Gemini once more. And then we have the King of Coins. King of Coins is that um, money coming in. Uh, it could also represent um, abundance, abundance with the absence of money, but you're abundantly feeling happy about everything else that you have in your life. Maybe a job that you feel secure with. Maybe it's your relationship that you feel secure with. Maybe it's your family friendships and so forth. Uh, this could be your boss in the workplace environment. This could be your creditor. So it's a good time to ask for those favors, uh, either in the, you know, from your boss or, you know, apply for loans or credit. It's a, it's a form of generosity. It's a card that could, um, you know, because it is a court card, somebody could be helping you out strongly financially. You could be helping somebody out, you know, with some financial, um, situations as well. It's about reliability, dependability, someone that you can depend on, someone that you can rely on, someone who is feeling secure, someone who can uh, handle money financially, handle their, uh, their, their income or their money. That could be the energies coming from this card and it's attributed to you that Libra, you are someone who is good with handling your money. So King of uh, Coins is coming up here and it represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Up next here, because I still got to get to those three cards, is the Five of Coins. So, you know, Five of Coins is showing up here quite a bit. And there's two stories to this card here. On the outside, you see the people who are uh, without, deprived, or have not, uh, feeling left out in the cold. And then you have the person that's inside, looks like a uh, appears to be a, a casino and the money's coming out of the machine. So she's happy. You got the dog here. You got the person could be her husband, her boyfriend or whatever he has. Um, can't really see his face, but he's holding a beverage, but she's happy. One thing you need to understand about this card is that we don't know that her winnings are going to be helpful to the people who are outside looking in that feel deprived or left out in the cold. So this is on the positive side that she could help those people out. Uh, she can still donate to charity, even though this is a five of pentacles. Okay. But because it is the five of pentacles, it's always that uh, energy that is about worrying about work or finances. But I'm reading it uh, differently here. Okay. Because there's different energies that's showing up here for me. All right. And so it could be for that Libra who is still, you know, donating to charitable causes. It may not be money. It could be just your time. We've moved, at least in our area, we're moving into the holiday season. So it's always a time of gift giving or just giving of yourself in a generous way to the people who are less fortunate than you are. You follow me? That's where I'm going with this. So there's two energies coming out of this card. So she could be helping someone out that are less fortunate and um it could all still be that there are some indications that somebody is you know could be still worried about their job or their finances so i'm gonna leave it at that five of pentacles represents uh taurus capricorn and virgo <clears throat> next up is the four of wands somebody is moving somebody is relocating somebody is uh moving in with um because this is the happiness card okay so it's always about the happiness that's in the structure inside of a home. So somebody is either purchasing a home, relocating, moving to apartment, condo, townhouse, and so forth. But somebody could be moving in, it could be family members, it could be romantic partners, it could be um, friends who just move in to share expenses. Underneath the three of blades, maybe this is the sadness. Somebody's moving out. Somebody could still be moving out. There's a separation here. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time trying to figure out who, who was moving out. You know who's moving out, Libra, right? And so maybe this is the Three of Swords energies. I'm sad. I'm heartbroken because somebody's moving out. Now, that could be a child. That could be a romantic partner or whatever. But somebody is definitely moving in. Somebody's taking, uh, you know, uh, possibly maybe it's from, you know, moving to a different area. 
a relocation and that's creating the sadness because somebody might be happy exactly where they are, but because of uh, work related matters or something else that comes up that they have to move and maybe a family situation that is creating the uh, three of swords energy and you know, you're forced to move or something, something's going on there. All right. So um, three of pentacles is your shadow. I don't want to confuse that there. The card that's up next is the, well, we have the three of cups. Okay. I'm trying to move on. I got a reading to do today. So I don't want to rush this reading, but I don't want to be late for my uh, reading today that I have to do, which I don't normally do on Fridays, but I'm an exception um, for this person. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Three of Cups is about celebrating. Uh, so it could be someone's uh, birthday that you're celebrating, someone's anniversary, getting together with a small group of friends and just having a joyous time. This is a card that's about being joyful, happy, and, um, you know, thankful for the things that you do have and th things that you are blessed with. This could be spending quality time with your children or it could be spending quality time with um, extended family members and so forth. All right. But there's a need or a reason. Uh, to celebrate for some Libras this upcoming week. And uh, that's good energy. It could be anything related to a move or home, um, a business. It could be a business because I'm getting um, dominations of the king or the pinnacles here for you. Okay. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that three of cups. And your last card here is a good card. It's the Major Arcana, the Hierophant. So maybe somebody's getting married. Uh, this is a card that is always about spiritual uh, being watched over and spiritual. It could be spiritual healing as well and spiritual protection. This is a card of higher um, teachings and learning. So uh, oftentimes I pick up on the job training with the um, King of Pentacles here. That's over top. Somebody could be training for a new job. Uh, that could be what I'm seeing here. This is... Um, also, to for you to uh, remind you that any expression of the Three of Swords coming up for you this week is to f for you to keep faith and hope alive that things are going to work out, uh, and you know things aren't as bad as what they may appear to be. I could be talking to Libras who are educators, teachers. This could be the children that they're teaching. That could be high school, uh, elementary school, you know, middle school, and it could be college. Um, and so forth, because we have the books here, and he could be the professor. Um, yeah, delving into uh, spiritual uh, stuff that I mentioned, uh, learning something about spiritual, could be reading something about spiritual uh, energies, learning more about that. Hierophant represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Remember, this is a relationship card as well. So again, somebody could be getting married. Somebody could be hooking up in a new partnership. Uh, it could also be a business partnership because this is a Taurus. Taurus represent Earth Energy's pentacles. All right, so that's what I have there. Major Arcana, very good card to finish off with. The card that popped out was the star card, and it's the social networking card here, okay? This is the community... Social networking card. Uh, and this is about hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. Um, what else can I say about the card? Yeah, any use of building up uh, alliances through social means, whatever your favorite is, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. There's so many. This could be online dating. Also, this uh, star card is always representative of possibly meeting someone famous or actually becoming famous yourself. The only thing with the uh, caveat with the star card is that the stars are scattered in the galaxy. So I always think in terms of making sure that Libra, that, you know, whatever goes on with you or whatever comes up with you this upcoming week, that you are staying focused and you have the help of the queen here. Because remember, I said the queen is all about you being focused. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. This is part of your energy. It represents Aquarius, but it also represents um, uh, Gemini as well. So you got the star card, manifestations of those things uh, that you want to uh, bring into your life. And usually when a star card shows up, um, it's about you manifesting within that time frame that I had indicated. So in your case, 
uh, it would be November 2nd through November 8th. Whatever it is that you want to manifest and bring into your life. That was the first card. The other card that fell out was the Two of Pentacles. So that's balancing two things. It could be two jobs, part-time jobs, or it could be just you balancing your checkbook. Two of Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So it's a little juggling act. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. And then the last card was the uh, Five of Wands. Five of Wands is that little friction card. And because I'm doing your reading here, uh, Libra, that means that it's a projection of energy onto you. Now, it may not be from a fire sign, a true fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but somebody uh, in this case or instance wants to pick a fight, start an argument. It's petty. And if you feed into it, then the energy only uh, builds up. <clears throat> If you ignore it, the energy dissipates just as quickly as it starts. So don't feed into anyone who wants to um, start something with you because there's nothing that's going on with you concerning them. There's something that's going on with them that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. All right. So don't allow yourself to be pulled into that drama or their energies. OK, because it'll suck you right up. Five of Wands represents... Um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And this is what I have for you this upcoming week, Libra. Uh, I hope I didn't sound or, you know, appear to be too rushed. I got a reading to do. Um, but you are the last sign that I had to do to complete uh, the week up. So, yes, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, Libra, I encourage you to uh, do it safely. Stay strong. Stay positive. Please get out there and vote. If you haven't already voted, if you're a resident of the United States, play a part in this democracy. Let your voice be heard. It's going to be a very important election after the dust settle. Um, you know, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be uh, not only crazy, but it's going to be chaotic. It's just a lot of stuff that I'm feeling intuitively. Um, <clears throat> And it may be based on this, you know, energy of the full moon that is going to be expressed uh, tomorrow on Halloween. So that might be interesting. And, you know, that energy always lags uh, a week or two after it is um, expressed. So I think that there could be a lot of stuff that's going on that could be, you know, um, unprecedented. So just wherever you are, just to make sure that you stay safe. Uh, social distance, wear those masks, wash those hands. Uh, love and light to you, though, Libra. Um, and I shall talk to you next week. Bye.